Are you tired of charging your cell phone or electronic device like wireless headsets? So how much time do you spend on finding an outlet for charging your phone or a charge station on a typical day? What if you can charge your phone or any device with sunlight in just a few seconds? Hello, welcome to Uniting Digital. I'm Arthur. I'm David. Hi, David. Hi, Arthur. That's right. You heard that right. In the future, you can charge your phone with sunlight in just a few seconds, not minutes. Today, I'm going to show you a combination of breakthrough that will give us a promising new energy technology. Until now, a new scientific research paper published in June 2022 claims to have hit that crucial milestone. And thanks to the nature occurring mineral called perovskite, discovered by a 19th century geologist called Left Pirovsky, hence the name. And as you can see, the diamond structure is inside the cage of the cupid. In the example in my hand, I have the calcium atom as the ring in this corner. And the red represents the an ion, which is um, consists of the oxygen uh, atoms in red. And the titanium metal atom is in the center of the cage. So it acts as a semiconductive substance because of this unique structure and its behavior acting just like a battery with positive side and a negative side. But why had the scientists not yet used the pair of Skype for solar cells earlier, since it was already discovered 100 years ago? This question actually brings us to the first breakthrough. Now a team at Princeton University discovered a way to place 2D layer that can stabilize the interface between Roskite and the whole transport layer HTL uh, by suppressing unwanted ion migration into HTL. Without this layer, Perovskite is very fragile because it tends to quickly degrade after only a few minutes when subjected to intense light and heat. Perovskite, unlike silicon crystal, can absorb a wider range of spectrum of light, which means that it's more sunlight heating the material the more it can be converted into electricity. Another breakthrough is that perovskite could be the one that potentially exceeds the efficiency limit or so-called the sharply kaiser limit due to its unique ABX3 structure. How about the cost of manufacturing compared to silicon-based solar cells? The perovskite structures are also more tolerant of defects than silicon. That eliminates the need for the high cost, high energy machinery that silicon cell production requires. And it also means about 20 times less material is needed for each cell. As a result, perovskite solar cells can be manufactured using simple addictive deposition techniques such as printing for a fraction of cost and energy. Because of the compositional flexibility of perovskite, they can also be tuned to ideally match the sun spectrum. Finally, another breakthrough on this solar cell innovation is coming from Advanced Technology Institute ATI, the University of Surrey in UK, where they have demonstrated how its new photo rechargeable system, which merge zinc ion batteries with perovskite solar cells to store energy on the small devices like wearable without the need to plug in. At the moment, their prototype can achieve a 30 second of sunlight that boosts the battery life of wearable by tens of minutes. Finally, together with all this innovation and breakthroughs, the perovskite solar cell technology looks very promising as a new kit on the market coming soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and excited as us about this new energy technology. And if you like technology news, uh, you can visit us at Uniting Digital. 
where I share a variety of technology topics. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.